What's going on everybody? Michael back here with another anime discussion video. And I was thinking to myself, I've seen a lot of anime. Like, a lot of anime. <coughs> I was thinking, what shows don't get the love and attention they deserve? So today I put a list together of five underrated anime. So we tried to make this video once before and it just wasn't happening. Malik is in the back just talking to me, distracting me, watching cooking videos. Five underrated anime for you guys. Boom, doom, doom. Next we have uh, English. <laughs> That's family. It put, it put, it put. Don't put that in. But. I'm in the comfort of my own home now. I feel like we can get this done. So I want to start by saying this list won't be in any specific order. And at any point, if I'm making these anime seem less popular than they already are, I'm just using my own judgment. Just let me know down in the comments below. I want to start today's list off with Alderman of the Sky. Alderman of the Sky is a military tactician style anime. It's not something I really planned on watching at first. I saw a GIF online and I was like, wow, this looks interesting. So I checked it out and I ended up watching it in one day. The duo pair main characters really, really caught my attention. Like one is a tactician, super smart. Like if you like Lelouch, Sora from No Game, No Life, highly recommend you watch this then. The other main character is the female lead and she's like the master swordsman. She just shreds everything up. It's just, it's a beautiful thing to watch. It's just, this anime really caught my attention and I never see anyone talking about this one. So you guys should give this one a shot. So next up on the list, we have Decimating of the Amnesia. Now this is another anime I didn't really plan on watching. I had it on that background noise while I was painting. And I just, I had to give it my full attention after one or two episodes. It's a bit of a weird one though. It's a horror romance. I know it sounds weird, but it actually really, really works. The main characters have great chemistry. Uh, it's a bit of a field train. So don't go into this without about to feel down, guilt questioning yourself like there's a lot of dark undertones in this one but it's really really good imagine anohana and another if they've had a baby this would be it. so i definitely recommend you guys check this one out it's probably one of my favorite on this list so third on this list we have mononoke not princess mononoke just mononoke this one is very, very unique in the sense of its art style. Its art is by far the most standout quality of this show. It's different in every sense of the word. Definitely check this one out. It's a horror anime. It's a bunch of different short stories. We follow the main character who is the medicine seller. He's basically an exorcist. He goes around and in order for him to exercise the demons or the mononoke, he needs to hear the truth and regret of each one of these short stories. And it's a pretty, pretty interesting anime. Definitely recommend, just give it a shot. Okay, so next on the list we have We've Always Been 10 Centimeters Apart, which Malik wanted me to emphasize that's like that far. Now, this is a six episode anime, but trust me, this has some really good character development for six episodes compared to like something like Naruto, which has like over 300. 1010, we're looking at you. This is really good. Uh, it talks about life decisions. You put work over romance and you actually see the future of these characters. This one as well is a bit of a feels train. Bunch of bunch of character development, like I said, and for six episodes, I think this is definitely worth a watch. We've always been 10 centimeters apart. Check it out. All right, so we've reached the end of the list, but last but not least, we have Phantom of the Rec Room. Now, 
Anytime I come across someone who's seen a good amount of anime and they're looking for recommendations, when I recommend this anime, it always stumps them. So this is like my go-to underdog anime. It's a story of a tourist, a Japanese tourist, and he basically gets brainwashed and turned into an assassin. An assassin anime, what can go wrong? Honestly, this is just a good thriller anime, good character development. It's good, it's just really good. I think the only complaint I had with this one was the ending. I wasn't a fan personally. I get what they were doing. Still worth the watch. Definitely, definitely check this one out. So anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up my five underrated anime. This is only part one. We have another one coming shortly after this. Uh, if you have any other anime discussion videos you guys wanna put down in the comments, please do. Be sure to leave a like if you're new, subscribe, and that's all from me today, guys. Have a good one. I'm